Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Karina. I'm Jacob. Ooh, what a trio we have. What a order. What an order. Nathan's out of the office, uh, so we thought we would do a, a Nathan suggestion. Yeah, Nathan wanted us to do this, so we decided to do it without him. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> That's what he would have wanted. Basically, what he requested was that Karina and I do battle. We do battle in the handsome man off. Yes. <laughs> Is there a better way to um, phrase that? I don't think so. Two and competitors enter the handsome man <laughs> arena. Only one leaves. So I'm going to start us off. I'm just here to uh, commentate. Yeah. I'm here to watch these handsome men be birthed <laughs> from the wombs of your artistic skill. <laughs> Don't like that phrase. And That's... to make as many awful metaphors as I can, like That's I'm lovely, a, Jacob. like You're I'm doing a boxing a great commentator. Job. <laughs> You're doing a great job commenting already. Now we got Julia coming out with a nose first <laughs> strategy, uh, which you don't see often in this uh, in this arena. Uh, but she's had a lot of success with it in the past. We're gonna see how it works out for her. I went to fashion school. Nose fashion school. <laughs> nose fashion school. What they do is that they teach you how to draw some beautiful boys but not anything else. No beautiful women? I miss those glasses. <laughs> On purpose? Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so I'm gonna start shaping, <laughs> shaping in my boy. It's beautiful nose. Thank you. I already sense a profound sadness from this boy. <laughs> like, is he okay? He's a moody boy. He already seems like he's got some dark, troubled energy coming off of him. Yeah, he's the sad boy archetype. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gotta have that. It's kind of like you know the the dude you see like at the bar and he's like sitting by himself and he's got like that haggard hot sort of look. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna that's what I'm going for. Today. And you're like worrying about his like is he dangerous? I don't know, but I kind of want to find out. It's the allure of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I am going to go for like a, a moody, emotional kind of just like if I actually talk to this boy. He is probably going to be a shithead from afar. <laughs> My God, he's yeah. beautiful. It's like more fun to imagine how cool he could be than to actually interact with him in any way. So that's what I'm going for is uh, someone someone that is good looking from afar, mysterious and good looking. Yeah, dark and mysterious. Yeah. These are your French genes coming out. <laughs> it is uh, what is life. I do not care. <laughs> Why'd Whatever. you ask then? <laughs> Shut up, I'm the one who's making uh, the questions. <laughs> Are we in France, America? You're speaking English, but you don't seem to have a firm grasp. Also, you came up to me. <laughs> you know, it's like in movies when they're like, 1700s, France, everyone's British. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, like, are well, we in France? Yeah, or? Why, why would they be? And then they finally whip out a dude who has like a French accent, and you're like, now it's just confirmed that no one in this movie is actually French. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, why do movies do that? It's stupid. Well, I know the reason. There's like some stupid like traditional acting thing where it's like anything old or foreign gets translated into British because it's easily recognizable and like classical. Right. Which is so stupid. I say to hell with tradition. To hell with tradition. <laughs> Nothing Give but French Frenchies. accents from now on. All movies, French accents. Yeah. That's what I want. I'm going to draw myself a mysterious French boy is apparently what's happening. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Now, Karina, you're the competitor here. That's me. So I want to know, like, you're seeing this moody French boy, you know, come out here. What What are your thoughts? What are you feeling? Are you intimidated? I am kind of intimidated. <laughs> is this your, is this a type of, uh, a type of handsome man, you know, that you would be into or is it not we'll your type? We'll see. It's, he's still being birthed. <laughs> being birthed? <laughs> Being rendered from the soil, <laughs> given life by I Julia's do. expert <laughs> hands. Layers to handsomeness, Jacob. <laughs> you don't know the depths of the handsomeness. Yeah, it's true. Like, cause she hasn't got to the hair yet. It could be some real dope shit, like some real, <laughs> yeah. some real idiot stuff. Or just like, yeah, just something really stupid. It could, it could just be like a bowl cut. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> a bowl cut that doesn't match the perspective of his head. <laughs> It's like a tilted it's cut bowl. Cut at an angle, yeah. yeah. Has like, yeah. There we go. Straight on, it's crooked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's his good angle. Yeah, you look at him from, from the front. It's just like this. <laughs> Get and me like, from my good side. It, look, it, it is a look. Okay, I'm trying something new. All right, it's called fashion. Oh, I really love the idea of the handsome man who's trying something new, but it's not working out for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying his best. 
yeah. handsome man who just got a bad haircut and is trying to play it off uh, like it's good. That would be great. But I'm here to compete and to win. I do like Karina's competitive spirit in which Jacob said, Karina, you're the competitor here. And Karina's response is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Karina's fired up. Karina is ready tell. to go. She's ready to fight. Yay. <laughs> uh, I will say Karina is one of the most vicious and and cutthroat artists I've ever met uh, in my life. Yeah, I am wearing I'm wearing a like a slash proof vest right now. <laughs> I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Karina, if you were like the villain in an anime and you know, they always have those moments where they like lean in. Oh my god, I'm thinking of that scene from Gundam Wing where Hiro Yui like, I'll kill rip, you. Yeah, he rips the letter from uh, what's her face. Yeah. And he just goes, I'll kill you. But now I've just inserted Karina and it's just, I'll kill you. <laughs> Can we get a dub over? Uh, someone in the comments, do us a favor, do a dub over of that scene, but with Karina's, I'll kill you. And, and send that to us on Twitter. Oh I would god. greatly appreciate it. I love that scene. It's very funny. <laughs> God, I was into that anime. Okay, so. I was too, but it was just because there was a robot called Death Scythe, and I thought that was rad because I, I was in middle school. Arms. I was into heavy arms because he just had all the guns. I liked Duo because he said damn one time in the <gasps> show, and I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I liked Troa because he was mysterious. And like this guy. She hair like this guy. This I guy is a type. Troa, yeah. <laughs> this is a Troa archetype. Did you know that all handsome men can be narrowed down into one of the Gundam wing? archetypes yes this is a uh, hero yui-esque yeah this is a hero troa uh combo I do you can, see you can him double with, up i do want to see him with troa hair like the long braid not troa i'm sorry i'm thinking oh no troa's got the the big front hair and, and yeah it's katra that's got the long braid right or is that uh, thing katra oh, fuck what the, what's that guy's name no he was he was karina like, i was I, counting on you i missed gundam <laughs> Oh my god! It's impossible to return to now. No, Troa, Troa is the one with the long front hair who is heavy arms Gundam. Hero is the main dude who's I'll kill you. Yeah. Oh, that's um, Troa hair right Katra, there. Yeah. Katra is the sand scythe. Yeah, he dude. has the blonde hair, but doesn't he also have like a little ponytail action going on? No. <laughs> I'm looking him up right now because um, I'm not going to sit here. Google and... open. Duo was the. Duo the... has a long braid. Duo has the long braid. That's that's uh that's Troa's hair. That's Ooh. not even long enough to be <laughs> Troa's hair. It was like this. It was insane. I keep wanting to say their character is like Fang Long, but I think that's a Street Fighter dude. It is something adjacent to that. Oh, his name is Wu Fei. Wu Fei. Uh, yeah. I Wu do Fei. Him. Uh, yeah. Catra, Duo, Troa, and Hero. Every time I look at characters from the show, I want to watch it again. And every time I try to watch it again, I watch like ten minutes, and I'm like, this is unwatchable. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, it is, and I'm someone who loves my mech anime. Oh, I forgot about Zex Marquise. Zex Marquise is great. Holy shit. I 100% could not figure out what his deal was when I was a kid. <laughs> I didn't know what his deal was, but I knew I was into it. I also didn't want to say his name as a kid because it was too close to sex. Whoa! Do you get that? I mean, <laughs> Zex, to be Zex. fair, though, Zex Marquise, he is kind of Sex Marquise, if, is, you know, if you know yeah, what I'm saying. Um, yeah. He is the long hair one. He's the long hair one, and also he wears this mask. Oh, he's that guy. Yeah, he's yeah. that guy. I have a very approximate knowledge of Gundam stuff. Yeah, in that you've like seen it. Yeah, seen around. It, like, around from a distance. I love this photo, and I'm sorry, Trevor, they're gonna have to edit all these in for this part. <laughs> but I love this photo that's a framed picture of a bunch of pictures of Zex. <laughs> <laughs> Like somebody made a collage of, of Zex in his mask and in, has it on in, their desk. In the anime. Yeah. <laughs> in canon in the anime. Oh, that's very funny. Um, so this guy kind of looks like the dude from New Girl. What? You ever seen the show New Girl? No. You haven't? No. Shit. Karina, have you ever seen the show New Girl? I mean, like a couple episodes. We're too busy drawing handsome oh men. God, to our time. you guys. It does not contain drawn handsome men. So yeah. what, what use of it is Where's it to me? Nathan? <laughs> Come <laughs> help he me. Gone? Does he watch this? He's he he'd probably know who I was talking about. He's I'm going to pull gonna up a picture. Blowing blowing out some cuz it's a cold day. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, it's getting some fog out of his mouth. <laughs> not even smoke. No, not even fog. smoke. Listen, he's too cool. Yeah, so Schmitt you accidentally did. made Schmidt from New Girl. Gosh, shit. Yeah, you did a Schmidt. That's God. a Schmidt. Kind of he's, a, he's a 
good looking dude. He's he fine. is a good looking dude. This is like a Schmidt if he like saw a knife fight one time. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, oh, how do I unschmidt him? You, I think you gotta lean into the Schmidt. Um, you gotta commit. You gotta commit Hold to the on. Schmidt. <laughs> I don't wanna commit to the Schmidt. <laughs> Karina, yay. <laughs> what if I give him like a, a cool mustache? Oops. <laughs> That's gonna look like he's just stuck it on. Schmidt with a mustache. <laughs> Um, and what if, hold on, okay, what if, what if? Is he blowing out smoke? Uh, we've it's discussed fog. this, or, it's fog. Or is that Where like, were you? Or is that like, I was mouth. thinking about Zex Marquis. <laughs> <laughs> I was Listen, if you're not gonna pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, the mustache is so dumb. It looks so fake. You have to stop what it's you're doing. It's Schmidt undercover. <laughs> <laughs> So Schmidt entered the handsome. Is that Groucho <laughs> Mark's nose? <laughs> He's never, undercover. They'll never know it's me, Schmidt from New Girl. <laughs> he looks like he's trying to try out for the part of Elf of um of Commissioner Gordon in yeah. Batman, and he like kind of missed the mark. And they were like, oh, "Are you just wearing a Groucho Marx mustache?" And he's like, "No, totally oh, there not." There he is. Oh there my god, is. it really does look a lot like Schmidt. You, I think How do you, I unschmidt him? You don't. We said you commit to the Schmidt. I can't believe I have to commit to the Schmidt. We all have to sometimes. I don't I don't think I have to. I didn't agree to this. Schmidt comes for us all, <laughs> whether we are ready for him or not. Uh, it is a very handsome man, though. I tried to go for... You and know, this is a traditional Julia It is. High uh, collar. Style. He's wearing like a peacoat with a popped collar. You know, it would kind of come out a little bit more. Yeah. In yeah. Julia's, like, art brain, it's always winter. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, everyone's always just gone through a breakup. He, he's, I'd like to imagine that he's wearing a suit under here, too, because there's nothing better looking on dudes than a suit. Yeah, suit plus peacoat. Suit plus peacoat. Forget about it. Yeah. I don't want him to be Schmidt. He looks <laughs> like he's, uh, he's eating a big thing of broccoli. God damn it, Jacob! <laughs> that's that's sexy like though. Hanging out of his mouth like a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> he kicked the cigarette habit, and now I he, love health food. He eats broccoli. Now that's handsome. Yeah, you you know he's a man who takes care of himself. Yeah. He's looking out go. for his nutritional value. That is sexy in its own way. He's just eating some broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to he needs to take care of his bod. Noshing some brock. <laughs> Like from Pokemon or? Karina doesn't want to be in this episode with me right now. Ooh, a piercing? Yeah, give him a little bit of character, a little bit more. Is it like a piercing that he no longer puts an earring in, like it's closing up now, but it's like speaks to his wilder, younger days when he smoked cigarettes instead of ate broccoli? Yeah. Clearly yeah. none of that did anything for you. <laughs> That's. I'm no, trying I'm to provide it. some lore explanation no, here. No, I'm keeping it, I was making it smaller and so some that would depth. be a past piercing. Yeah, so I think this is I think this is our boy, my boy. I Schmidt. guess it's Schmidt. Yeah, this is Schmidt. Schmidt saw a knife fight once. once. <laughs> this is Schmidt who saw a knife fight once. <laughs> That's Julia's official character. Uh, <laughs> Where'd the Brock go? I took it out. <laughs> Did he finish eating it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he just he doesn't waste food. <laughs> like a noodle. <laughs> Okay, are we gonna get Karina in here? Yeah. Our next competitor? I'm just gonna keep plugging away at this boy. No, you're All done. Right. Yeah, it's done. All right. Okay. All right, Julia's locked in. Yep. Um, her handsome boy is here. <laughs> he lives. It's Schmidt. It's, it is oh. Schmidt. Uh, Karina, which new girl character do you <laughs> <laughs> plan to draw? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a Winston or perhaps a coach? <laughs> I don't know any of those guys. You can also hide my lair if mm -hmm. you would like. If you'd oh. like to hide my boy so that you have full range. I was going to just have him peeking over. Yeah, so <laughs> please do. Oh, yeah, I'd love a scene with please both. Please do. So I'm very excited to see what you do. Because I think we are the two handsome man experts on the team <laughs> at this company. That's absolutely true. <laughs> That's our positions. Yeah, you yeah. were both hired they for that express purpose. <laughs> I need those handsome men on my desk by 5 p.m., Karina. <laughs> that That's... was our entire portfolios. Yeah. Just handsome yeah. dudes. <laughs> Each man handsomer than the last. But yeah, Karina's got a very different style. Yes. Um, for her handsome men. What archetype should mine be? It's my type. 
a little more anime to it, I'd yeah. say. Julia's got almost no anime, <laughs> which I think is a, a glaring flaw. No anime, all new girl. Yeah, all new girl. <laughs> That's your very... art style, new girl. New girl. Uh, it's the popular movement called Art New Girl. <laughs> oh, God, get out. <laughs> yeah, but Karina's got a little bit of that, that anime flair. Yes. <laughs> so it's hers, maybe it will be a Gundam. A Gundam archetype. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just gonna be a Gundam. It's gonna be a Gundam. <laughs> oh, Gundam. <laughs> the most beautiful boys are robot boys. Yeah, perfect shining, boys. shining robot. Okay, so we got the beginnings of a face coming yeah. in here, but uh, yeah. still still high risk that this boy could not be handsome. You know, we don't know yet. The smirk though. There is a smirk. Yeah. The smirk I helps. I didn't put a smirk in. Yeah, yours is just sad. <laughs> yeah. Like emotional. All my boys are sad. <laughs> are they gonna be like a dynamic duo? It's like, like a buddy cop. Yeah. Hi, boss. <laughs> yeah, I had to deal like, with another breakup. That's like today. the jaded boss, and this is like the young rookie. Yeah, yeah, the young upstart. He's just excited to have his first day on Handsome Man Job at Handsome Man Academy. <laughs> Before you drew in the cheekbones, I was very worried you were doing a Kaiba. I'm trying very hard not to do a Kaiba <laughs> or a Hanzo. So, um, I, I consider. But what if you do a Hanzo and Kaiba? Oh, <laughs> no. Be smiling. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's a good oh, point. Oh, the combo. <laughs> Stop, I'll do it. <laughs> Follow your heart, Karina. You yeah. do you. I drew Schmidt from New Girl. <laughs> yeah. You can draw Kaiva Hanzo if you wish. Julia's favorite character. It's honestly uncanny. <laughs> it is bizarre. You drew a living man. <laughs> <laughs> that you've never seen. That you've seen. never I've seen. I've never seen before. Is this your superpower? I think so. It's weird because my markers of like the most handsome men are like Dan Stevens and Gaspar Ulliel, who's that French actor, uh -huh. and they look nothing like this dude that I drew. Yeah, no, they don't have like the the strong nose, strong yeah. jaw sort of combo. Yeah, he's kind of um, leaning like a, a soccer player Ronaldo kind of. Actually, there's a <laughs> soccer player for um, I think he's for oh Croatia who looks like this for the Croatian national team uh -huh. looks like this. I'm gonna have to look this up afterwards are you big into Croatians uh, <laughs> is that your type is that your type uh, <laughs> no we've discussed that my my type is that dude from New Girl yeah <laughs> yeah what's his face from New Girl <laughs> love that dude what's his name my favorite actor old what's his fuck <laughs> Oh, we're getting some definition here. Yeah, we're getting some high cheekbones. Some bones. severity. I like that. Yeah, both your love guys are like. I'm so glad I chose like a front on angle. Yeah. I love. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I love <laughs> yeah, I went for the comfort zone of only having to draw half of a face. You you had to make sure perfect symmetry was there, which. It's okay. We won't flip this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we won't flip it. Yeah, that's true. That's like, my rule I do on everything I draw. I'm like, I'll flip. just never flip it. And then no one has to know. That is like a rule with people who are beautiful are the most symmetrical. So when you're trying to draw like the most beautiful person, you have to make sure that they're as symmetrical as possible. Yeah. So uh, the easiest way to cheat it is to just like turn the head so you only have to draw one side. Yeah, totally. I'm glad I've committed to yeah, this Karina, Yeah, Karina has chosen torture for her... Uh, Stash. But then you've got like, you know, you got your scars guards out there. That's true. Uh, yeah. That dude's face. Alexander yeah. Skarsgård, I think is the one I'm thinking of. Yes. The the young scars guard. Yes. <laughs> young scars guard. His face is all over the damn place, but look at him. He's beautiful. It's true. And it's because of that. Yeah. So, so you know, you never can't tell. Well, it's like you still got you still got symmetry. It's just a little beat up, and that's awesome. He was in a fight. He was in a fight. He saw a knife fight once. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was in the he knife was in fight. fight. What's his face saw? Schmidt watched a knife oh, fight. It's the lore. <laughs> the, the lore. <laughs> the, the lore is growing. So who was Alexander Skarsgård fighting in the knife fight, though? That's what we have Steve to figure Buscemi. out now. Oh, no. <laughs> Steve Buscemi would never knife fight anyone. He seems like a nice dude. Yeah, he does. Also, young Steve Buscemi, uh, he was pretty attractive. Yeah. Uh, and then his, his features that were kind of like, you know, a little off that made him attractive, they just kept drifting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good smirk. That is a very good smirk. Hot damn. I feel like my, my question that yes. I'm thinking here mm -hmm. is facial hair? No facial hair. Yes. Because I see you hair. started a line. You started a beard line. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. But I usually lean yes facial hair. Sure, yeah. 
Hamza. I can't. <laughs> I mustn't. I promised. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't. <laughs> Master, I failed you. <laughs> I swore I would never use my full Hanzo. <laughs> She's gone full Hanzo. <laughs> Just once, one episode of Dropping. <laughs> Doesn't involve. <laughs> yeah. No Kaiba. Hanzos, no Kaibas. Kaiba doesn't have facial hair, right? Because he's like 12 or whatever. How old is he's he? He's not 12. He's, he's an older teen. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it depends. <laughs> which series? Depends on which does fanfic a, you're does reading. Does he have facial hair? No. And, oh. No. Okay. He looks exactly the same until his late 30s and late 20s. Oh. Do you see him in his late 20s? <laughs> yeah, he shows up in GX. <laughs> and he wow. Looks exactly the same. Oh. Ageless. I thought he was going to look different. Like maybe you'd have a little like a soul work. patch. <laughs> that would be work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he had a goatee. Yeah. Just like whipped around, and he looked exactly <laughs> the same, other than they like glued a, a goatee to him. Yeah, just slapped it on there. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting with, scruffed. With each line, I'm getting more into this dude. Uh, and it's got he's got like the the slit pupils too, yeah. like the vertical Those. pupils that kind of give him an uh, animalistic <laughs> sort of look. Work on those, but yeah, sure. Little little uh, <laughs> cat like vibe. Here's the problem with how I draw is that I can never like rough in a beard because then it just looks like a then he just looks like a slash victim. A slash victim. Like if I if I were to try to do those beard <laughs> lines that Karina just did so effortlessly on my drawing with the way that I draw, yeah, it just looks like he got slashed a bit. Yeah, his face. Like he was a victim of slash from Guns and Roses. Oh my God, you can leave. I can't. This is my job. <laughs> I have to be here. Why is Jacob here? I don't know. <laughs> he was very bored. You would be lost bad. without me. <laughs> he was like standing outside. <laughs> lost puppy. Pressed against the window. Guys, yeah. I heard you were recording an episode. Can I get in? Do you maybe want one more in there? I promise I won't talk about Schmidt the whole time. <laughs> I broke that promise. So bad, Schmidt. How dare you? You can go. Is he <laughs> is he a bad character in New Girl? No. <laughs> he's a bad guy. No, is he's he the bad he's, guy. He's good. Has he seen a knife fight? I don't think he's seen a knife fight. I haven't I'm not all caught up on that Was show. Was he in a knife fight? Not as far as I know. How many knife fights are in the show? I know that they, you know, they do the whole thing where like he used to be fat and now he's fit, and that trope's kind of tired. Okay, but you didn't answer my question about knife fights. No knife fights as far as I know. This show sucks. <laughs> How many shows do you watch that have knife fights in them? Uh, Veronica Mars had a knife fight. They had a hobo knife fight circle. That's the only good show. It's the only good <laughs> show. I'm pretty sure there's an episode of Riverdale where there's probably a knife fight. That seems like a show that would have a knife fight. God, I've never I wish. seen it. <laughs> you wish? I wish there was a knife fight in that show. I want to see Archie in a knife fight. Yeah, I do too. He's too busy playing acoustic guitar. And, and trying to become a singer-songwriter. And doing poetry or whatever. And doing poetry. He's just a big, soft idiot. He's a big, soft idiot. Uh, Karina, this man's handsome as hell. And also, it's like, I'm getting vibes, because now they're looking at each other. <laughs> Is there chemistry? Is this I like a first so. sighting? I think they're like hiding their relationship, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, it's forbidden. Because they're too handsome. Yeah, <laughs> society <laughs> forbids it. Because they're too good looking. <laughs> it's not because, you know, it's nothing anti-gay. Yeah. Uh, it's a very pro-gay society in the lore. Yeah. Just you can't be two people who are too handsome. Just the townsfolk come out and they're like, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. You can't, you you just can't get together. Yeah. This can't happen. Everyone's going to be, looking. everyone's going to be distracted. They won't be able to focus <laughs> on their just, jobs. People are going to just be thinking about the two, just, no, just, you're not allowed. Everyone anymore. will be writing fanfic. We'll all starve. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, you know, the the only kind of currency we'll have is uh, the black market of exchanging photos of the two of you together. <laughs> You'll destroy the economy. Yeah. <laughs> See, let's hit some charm points. Oh, oh yeah, is he wearing points. like a white shirt? So Do you have like a Henley? Is, uh, yeah, that black like jacket. Yeah, Henley going on. Yes. Yeah, oh. they contrast. So he, yeah. he's more casual too. <laughs> he's a little rougher, a little more casual. Yeah. This other guy's more put together. A little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Got a tattoo. We don't know what it is. Oh, what is it? Do you know? know? Is it a tattoo? Oh, it's a know. hidden tattoo. Yeah, but do you yeah. know? I don't know. N not even you? <laughs> Only one person knows. Oh, and yeah. And I think we know who that is. That's Schmidt. 
<laughs> a Schmidt baby. What's this guy's name though? I don't know. Does he look like anyone from New Girl? <laughs> He doesn't look like anyone from New Girl. This is so Zoe Deschanel. I'm, I'm at a loss. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what kind of vibes I get. A Zoe Deschanel vibe. I'm give him one no one. Deschanel vibes. Glasses. Ooh, glasses. Oh, my God. Glasses. <laughs> yes. Oh, is this going to give me any new vibes, though? Who's a good glasses actor? There's there's a, a dude in Sense8 who wears glasses who's also really handsome and has facial hair, and that's what I'm thinking now. <laughs> His name. Yeah. I don't remember. We just need a name. We need one name. I think his name is Arnando. Yeah, let's go with that. Arnando? Yeah. His name's Nando. Nando! <laughs> that is a supermarket chain in England. <laughs> we got a cheeky Nando on our hands, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is a store in England. Schmidt Nando's. and Nando. The Schmidt ultimate Nando. ship. <laughs> yes. Forget it. They're really beautiful to look at, but the second you learn their names, it breaks the spell. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, these two together, Schmidt and Nando. Nando Schmidt. But think about this. Their ship name could be Schmando. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I quit everything. I think we're done. Yeah. Are, are we supposed to pick between these boys? Or I couldn't just, possibly. We can't separate them. We look said it was them. a handsome man off, but the true winner was their love. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm, along. I'm going to have to agree. Thank both of you for this amazing treat of two beautiful men. Uh, thank you for letting Any, us. Anytime. Yeah, just just go hog wild <laughs> into our comfort zones of just beautiful men. Yeah. <laughs> you want to sign us out, Julia? Yeah. So, guys, this has been Drawfee. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We do Twitch streams at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday. Thank you, Karina, for coming on and, and just busting out this beautiful man. If you have a suggestion that you would like us to do, say it in the comments and maybe we'll do it. Otherwise, uh, thank you, Nathan, for letting mm. us do this. <laughs> Good idea, Nathan. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. Otherwise, uh, we're sorry. We're Schmando. I got get out. I'm sorry you're here. <laughs> Goodbye.